एमकॉम सेमेस्टर फोर क्वेश्चन बैंक सॉल्यूशन कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग टॉपिक एमसीक्यूज पार्ट थ्री एज पर आरबीआर गाइडलाइंस व्हिच इज नॉट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लोन ऑप्शन ए स्टैंडर्ड एसेट ऑप्शन बी लॉस एसेट ऑप्शन सी डाउटफुल एसेट ऑप्शन डी ऑपरेटिंग एसेट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑपरेटिंग एसेट डैश इज टू प्रोवाइड द फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कंपनी टू इन्वेस्टर क्रेडिटर बैंकर पब्लिक एंड गवर्नमेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ऑप्शन सी फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्ट द फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्ट इज टू प्रोवाइड द फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कंपनी टू इन्वेस्टर क्रेडिटर बैंकर पब्लिक एंड गवर्नमेंट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग हेल्स टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू डैश विथ वेरियस स्टैट्यूटरी एंड रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट ऑप्शन डी एक्विज ऑप्शन डी सपोर्ट ऑप्शन सी एक्जीक्यूट ऑप्शन डी अकम्प्लाय द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी अकम्प्लाय फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग हेल्स टू ऑर्गेनाइज टू अकम्प्लाय विथ वेरियस स्टैट्यूटरी एंड रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट when capitalization borrowing cost there is a risk that the cost of an asset may be inflated above its recoverable amount any excess to of borrowing cost above the recoverable amount should be option a ignored option b treated as income option c written off option b treated as profit the correct answer is option c written off so when capitalization borrowing cost there is a risk that the cost of an asset may be inflated above its recoverable amount any excess of borrowing cost above the recoverable amount should be written off calculate tax expenses from the following information current income tax is rupees 25 lakh at the rate of 20, 30, uh, 35% provision of tax of previous year 7 lakh taxable temporary difference have increased by rupees 10 lakh during the year okay so here the formula is total expenses into current income plus provision of tax plus taxable temporary difference into 35% so current income is 25 lakhs plus provision of tax 7 lakhs taxable temporary difference is 10 lakhs into 35 uh, is your tax rate into 10 35% so 25 lakhs plus 7 lakhs plus 10 lakhs 35% you will get 3 lakh 50000 so your to your total expenses will be 35 lakhs 50000 so answer is option d 35 lakhs 50000 next question question number 56 abc limited had earning of rupees 40 lakhs in 2021 in 2020 it had a share capital of 10 lakh share of rupees 10 each it issued bonus share in the ratio of 1 raise to 1 in 2020 find out earning per share of ajanta limited for 2021 option a here is rupees 10 rupees 4 rupees 2 and rupees 1 so you have to find uh, earning per share so formula for earning per share is total earning divided by number of share so if number of share we see 10000 shares are there and plus bonus share is in the ratio of 1 raised to 1 so for 10 lakh uh, 10 lakh share you will get more 10 lakh share as a bonus so total will be 20 lakh so 40 lakhs divided by 20 lakhs your answer will be rupees 2 so answer for rupees uh, uh, for uh, mcq number 56 is rupees 2 earning per share is rupees 2 next compute borrowing cost to be capitalized as per indian accounting standard 23 from the following information cost of asset rupees 20 lakh borrowing cost rupees 1 lakh 20 uh, thousand and investment income 50 thousand and loan amount 20 lakh so borrowing cost to be capitalized as per as indian accounting standard the formula for is you have to take borrowing cost minus investment income okay so your borrowing cost is 1 lakh 20000 and investment income is 50000 so your capitalized will be 70000 so answer for the problem sum number 5 uh, mcq number 57 is 70000 okay so you have to just minus borrowing cost minus investment income to get a borrowing cost to be capitalized as per as indian accounting standard 23 next sum Uh, next mcq the reported revenue include both sales to external customer and inter segment sales or transfer is dash of combined revenue option a 10% or more option b 15% or more option c 25% or more option d 75% or more the correct answer is answer 10% or more so reported revenue including 
both sales or external customer and in the segment sales or transfer is 10% or more of combined revenue. MCQ number 59. Borrowing amount is rupees 4 lakh at interest rate of 9% per annum, 5 lakh at interest rate of 12% and 3 lakh at the rate of 14%. What is the average interest rate of borrowing? So you have to take a borrowing amount. So you will add all these three borrowing amount and you will take the rate of interest of each one. So 4 lakh 9% will be 36,000. 5 lakh 12 percent will be 6, uh, 60 thousand 3 lakh 14 percent will be 42 uh, thousand okay so total will come as uh, 1 lakh 38 thousand now the formula of average interest rate is total borrowing amount divided by total rate uh, total interest rate so total borrowing amount is 12 lakh and rate of in uh, total interest is um, 1 lakh 38 thousand so 1 lakh 38 thousand divided by one, uh, 12 lakh you uh, you will get 11.50 as your answer so average rate of, of interest is 11.50 percent next mcq asset turnover ratio measures liquidity position option b long term solvency option c utilization of resources option d overall profitability the correct answer is option B long term solvency asset turnover ratio measure long term solvency MCQ number 61 the purpose of financial report is the purpose of financial report is to understand the financial statement and regulatory capital requirement so answer for 61 is the purpose of financial report is to understand financial statement and regulatory capital requirement 62 dash show how the organization is recruiting and training human resources option is segment reporting option b summary reporting option c audit reporting option d human resources development report the correct answer is option d human resource development report human resource development report show how the organization is recruiting and training human resources human corporate capital is an important asset of an organization Okay, so answer for MCK number 63 is human capital is an important asset of an organization. Financial reporting provide information to management for allotment of duty, delegation of authority, decision making, option D, efficiency audit. The correct answer is option C, decision making. Financial reporting provide information to management for decision making. IS1 deals with Option A, income tax. Option B, property and plant. Option C, disclosure of accounting policy. Option D, earning per share. The correct answer is option, uh, option C, disclosure of accounting policy. So, AS1 deals with disclosure of accounting policy. Dash employee stock ownership plan will be treated as contingently issuable share. Option A activity based, option D performance based, option C time based, option D production based. The correct answer is option B performance based. Performance based employee stock ownership plan will be treated as contingently issuable shares. In DASH model, impairment losses is deducted from the initial recognition of carrying value. Option A revaluation, option B marketing, option C financial, option D cost. The correct answer is option C, financial. In financial model, impartment losses is deducted from initial recognition of carrying value. If new issue of share for cash is made between the year end and the date that the financial statement are authorized, then option A, earning per share for both the current year and the previous year are adjusted. Option B, earning per year for both the current year only is adjusted. Option C, diluted earning per share only is adjusted. Option D, no adjustment is made to earning per share. The correct answer is option D, no adjustment is made to earning per share. If new issue of share for cash is made between the year end and the date that the financial statement are authorized, then no adjustment is made to earning per share. 
एमसी क्यू नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन वेन ऑर्डिनरी शेयर आर इश्यूड बट नॉट फुल्ली पेड देन द ऑर्डिनरी शेयर आर ट्रीटेड इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ बेसिक अर्निंग पर शेयर ऑप्शन ए इन द सेम वे एज फुल्ली पेड ऑर्डिनरी शेयर ऑप्शन बी इन द सेम वे एज वॉरेंट और ऑप्शन आर इंक्लूडेड ऑनली इन डायल्यूटेड अर्निंग पर शेयर ऑप्शन सी आर इग्नोर्ड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ बेसिक एंड डायल्यूटेड अर्निंग पर शेयर ऑप्शन टी एज अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी शेयर टू द एक्सटेंट दे आर एन टाइटल टू पार्टिसिपेट इन डिविडेंट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एज अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ एन ऑर्डिनरी शेयर टू द एक्सटेंट दैट दे आर एन टाइटल टू पार्टिसिपेट इन डिविडेंट Indian Airways Fair does not deal with the method of accounting for dash option A public company option B government grant option C private companies option D foreign companies the correct answer is option B government grants Indian Airways Fair does not deal with the method of accounting for government grants Parag Limited acquired 32000 equity share in Suraj Limited out of its issued capital 40000 shares the pattern of holding by parag limited is and minority is so you have to find the ratio of the parag limited and issued capital so if it say the parag limited have is having a 32000 equity share out of 40000 share which belongs to the suraj limited so parag limited and issued capital you can see uh, 32000 uh, shares are there with the parag limited and 40000 uh, out of the 40000 share of suraj limited so if you uh, take out the ratio you will get 4 is to 1 so correct answer is option b 4 is to 1 minority interest in the consolidated balance sheet is dash to the shareholder of the holding company option a goodwill option b capital reserve option c an asset option d liability The correct answer is option A, liability. Minority interest in the consolidated balance sheet is liability to the shareholder of the holding company. Minority interest is that part of the net re result of operation and net asset not owned by parent. Minority interest is that part of the net result of operation and net asset not owned by parent. preparation of consolidated statement of holding company and subsidiary company as per option b as 21 the correct answer is option b as 21 as 21 is a preparation of consolidated statement of holding company and subsidiary company as per as 21 consolidated financial statement are to be prepared as per indian as 1110 here the answer is option d indian as 1110 consolidated finance statement is prepared one next part please click on subscribing and click on notification bell icon thank you